All right, guys, welcome back. I got the 2013 Chevy Malibu on the rack right now, and we're doing wheel bearings. Uh, these are wheel bearings to the rear, and I uh, just want to give you a couple quick tips and tricks uh, with the wheel bearing. If you're hearing a grinding noise, uh, have someone go with you. Uh, drive when you turn right and left it'll get louder or quieter and uh, what I did was I actually sat in the back of the car uh, while my father-in-law was driving it and that's how we determined it was the back um, getting to these four bolts uh, which sit here on the back of the, this is a brand new one on the back of the wheel bearing two of them are easy to get at with a, um, a 3 8 inch uh, ratchet and uh, I want to say it's a 15 millimeter socket um, two of them are easy to get to but two of them are not because of the sway bar end links, which you can see right there in the way. Um, so what I did was I removed, I believe it was a 16 uh, millimeter um, bolt from the sway bar end link uh, from that holder right there. It allows me to pull it down and allowed me to gain access to uh, both of these bolts. Um, this car has a good amount of miles on it, Pennsylvania, Rust Belt, and the bolts came out super easy. Did it with a 3 8 inch ratchet, so obviously uh, you don't need to do anything. No crazy special tools. Having on a lift helps, but is not needed. Um, so all I did was pull out the two bolts that hold on the caliper, mounting bracket, everything, uh, and pulled it all off as one complete unit, and then uh, pulled off these four bolts. Now we have a brand new one. There's also an electrical connection on the back. Um, you pull that out from the back. Uh, I'm gonna clean all this up. Get rid of all the dust and dirt and everything like that. Slide the new one in. Put it back together in reverse order. Hope this helps someone. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks, guys. See ya.